Hello, welcome to part four. This was actually part of part three, but it was an hour long. I cut it in half. I am a cranky ass hoe in this one. I'm gonna explain in the next clip. Enjoy. Bye. Okay, so socks ass. Um, there was this scene, I think, eight minutes maybe that didn't film. And normally I would go back, do the gameplay again and let my original camera footage play over it. So it's still my first reaction. But I've already been filming for like half an hour. So I'm not going to do it. It was the guy in the beginning of this that was looking for his son. He came encounter with the demon dragon and he won. That's it. Hold on. No. No. No, 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 no. That could be another way out. I don't know. You know I've got your back, Rage. Stay close, you'll be fine. I'm pretty good at looking after myself, Eric. It would seem so. <clears throat> Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Well, that's a steep drop to nowhere. Yep. We've got rope. Yeah, but why would you go deeper? Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. I don't get it. That would not be when did you start smoking? something Excuse that me? I would be doing. Going deeper. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Oh, I thought I was her. Was I not her? What is happening? <laughs> Doesn't this remind you of old times, Rich? You mean the sense it's of kind of beautiful. Lost. Hello? What the fuck are you doing, dude? I'm just gonna follow her. I'm not even gonna look for clues. Just fucking go. Sorry, now I'm just a little bit pissed. Because <laughs> I did super well in that part. And now you're like, yeah, sure you did. I did. I did. You know, you can't even see it. Gotta swing over it and I will murder you. The floor seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. We could go so many other routes. We've seen so many others, but okay. Super stable. Deal with pressure.
I'm getting so motherfucking angry. I have to quit after this one. <laughs> because I'm gonna throw Pazuzu. with many things in my house. Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Oh no. You know which horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. Something to play. So Pazuzu it is. Plagues and demons, huh? So I was correct about the Great. demons. But I also got them dragons. Demon dragons, if you will. What oh my god, mean? finally! It took me five minutes. I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? <gasps> we should move. Can you make anything out? That's it's deep. Yeah. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. We're going down. Oh my god, I'm so angry. I walked so long in that cave. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I even tried to Google it, but there's nothing on there yet because it's only been out for a day. <laughs> I've never Googled it before, by the way. <laughs> but I literally, I didn't know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. Sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. Sorry. You can't blame yourself. I've messed up. Should have triple checked the data. Exhausted every possibility. But I'm so sure this was it. I understand what it meant to you, Eric. I'm so sorry. There's no use in dwelling on it. We need to focus on the task ahead and find a way out of this place. Yes. What the hell is that? A demon. Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Find gasoline? Wherever you are, Nick. I hope you're safe. What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Not standing in my Each way. Every one of them. He mentions echolocation. Is this something to do with bats? Lizard. Sweetie, Symptoms? come on. That's not a bat. Characteristics, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. <gasps> I found it! Only took me like 10 minutes. Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. So tell me I had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? 
Leg. Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I had to make it easy on you, Rach. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Come on, let's get to work. Okay, we're getting a little bit more in depth here. So not only is she cheating, that did not scare me. She caused a car crash. So that's that. Shine a light on the tank. Honestly, so far they do not scare me that much. I expected more, maybe. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gonna be something here to fix it. Oh, I have to find something again? Find duct tape. Let's go back to the tent. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye, a Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site. A gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. Okay. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. Oh, just now? What happened to these guys? Guys, um, I feel like I'm having brain tumors because I do not see at all what she is seeing. Duct tape. What would be a normal place to leave duct tape besides the tent? Because I do not know. There's a shitload more dynamite here. The hell would they need so much for? I'm, I think I'm gonna cut some of these parts out because this is taking forever and it's still it's gonna take more time <gasps> And while I say it I find it Bam I found some duct tape see if we can jumpstart this generator Where's the generator again? Is that behind there? Yeah. Honestly, it really it? is more challenging. I've got it. Because normally, indeed. We need to stay focused. Whatever issues are between us. We can't let them cloud our judgment. I hear ya. Eyes on the prize. Because normally you would get a clue, like maybe you should go there. Or, well, the not like that, but you get me. And I've already like two times walked for like five whole minutes in circles. And you it's get good. no clues. You just have to figure it the fuck out. And I don't like that. <laughs> hey, give me a hand with this panel. Look at the state of these. They're shot.
Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? I tried, but you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis and I was blind to anything else. Let's just say nothing. Let's let's go on. Rage. For Christ's sake. Say what's on your mind. <sighs> oh. I've missed you, Rage. You would. I wouldn't believe. Her name is Sharpay. Back then, I don't know. Things seem confused, but now it just seems simpler. Maybe there's hope for us after all. That should do the trick. Let's fire her up. Choke points, but overall it's a weak setup. Could have been done under pressure. Don't know the cons. Eric, take a look at this. Don't care. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? Shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine. I can fix that. Oh my God, she's so sick. When did you stop wearing your wedding ring? Oh. <laughs> when did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. Stop wearing it the day I left. I've moved on, Eric.
I've forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel. We're all in things together. Okay, let's go! No, I'm just gonna say nothing. I am over this. There are demons crawling around. I knew it. What do you want from me, Eric? The truth would be a good start. How did he figure that out? I said nothing. What does that mean? <gasps> well, you're better than you think, Rachel. You lied to me about that lighter, and it wasn't about a secret smoking habit. Eric, please. Tell me the truth. Don't do this. Admit it. There's someone else, isn't there? Yes, it's been a year. Get over it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore. And wow, something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates of madness. I fear being taken. But I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity. To all mankind. Mary. I'm sorry. supposed to play out like this. Then how? Contact, contact! Taking fire! Does anyone call me over? That's right, Rachel! Okay, this is Mail Man 2 on Axel. Save him. Over. King, this is Mail Man 2 on Axel. How copy over? that looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming. I got you, Rach. I got you. No. 
No, you're not cutting her loose. It's not happening. You'll die together. I guess that's why you're married. all you want, but I'm not cutting that bitch loose. Ah, ah, oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh bitch. You know what? I do not... Uh, regret my decision, I wanted to say. Um... You know, he was gonna cut her loose. Fuck him. You deserve to die. That's all I can say. That is all I am willing to say. Please let it end. Oh, thank Jesus. <sighs> what nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? One life cut short, another lost to the darkness. Seems things have taken a turn for the worse, wouldn't you say? It wasn't a bad way for Eric to bow out. At least he died a soldier to death. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the knight is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed. An almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors. Trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. It's inevitable that some lights flicker and die. How long the remaining flames burn for is up to you. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, but out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Thank you for watching part four. I hope you enjoyed it, even though I was a cranky ass bitch. I will see you on part five.